to help us all get a better understanding of Russian culture, because it's a big leap from here to there. The first stop on the drive to Sochi was the city of Voronezh, five hours outside of Moscow. Voronezh is larger than the city of Denver with more than one million residents. Anastasia Bolton tells us despite its size, it really feels like a quaint Russian town. It's full of history and tradition. I make music instruments. Some things are just meant to be. Before this, I didn't have any connection to music. And while this particular song doesn't quite communicate happiness, Sergei Plotnikov would tell you he was meant to do this. It brings me joy. <laughs> I've always done what I like, but this is it. I'm going to do this till the end of my life. I found it somewhat late in life. That means God intended it this way. Sergei makes traditional Russian music instruments dating back to 10th, 12th, 14th centuries. He stumbled upon this trade 10 years ago when his wife bought him a how-to book and three years ago opened a museum in Voronezh. When I go home, I know I made people happy today because the reaction from people are different. Unlike most museums of any kind, Sergei's visitors can touch and play anything here. In comparison to modern musical instruments, these are very simple. The songs are simple too, just about life. The life Sergei says he loves because this is what he was meant to do. In Voronezh, Anastasia Bolton, Nine News. Sergei says he travels all over Russia showing his work. He's never been overseas. In fact, he's declined invitations to go and doesn't even have a passport. Traveling across Russia showing his craft is what he loves to do, although his wife says he should get out and explore the world. <laughs> yeah, maybe buy him another how-to book to get that done, you know, since... <laughs> yes, you know, go explore the, the world. Here, take a look take at this. Take off, honey. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go away.